welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will explore how to filter data by ID when using the fetch all function in SQLite. Filtering data by ID allows us to retrieve specific records from a database based on their unique identifier. Let's dive in and learn how to do it effectively. Filtering data by ID is a common requirement when working with databases. In this video, we will focus on filtering data by ID when using the fetch all function in SQLite with Python. We'll cover the necessary steps and provide you with practical examples. Before we can filter data by ID, we need to establish a connection to the SQLite database. In Python, we can achieve this using the SQLite 3 module. Here's an example code snippet. Now that we have established the connection, let's move on to filtering data by ID using the fetch all function. We'll use the select statement with a where clause to specify the filtering condition based on the ID. Here's an example code snippet. In the code snippet, we first create a cursor object using the cursor method. The cursor allows us to execute SQL statements. Then, we use the execute method to fetch data from the user's table based on the ID filter. In this example, we retrieve all rows where the ID is equal to 1. Finally, we iterate over the retrieved data and print each row. It's important to note that you can customize the WHERE clause to apply various filtering conditions based on your specific requirements. For example, you can filter data based on multiple IDs using the IN operator or combine ID filtering with other conditions using logical operators like AND and OR. Fantastic! You've learned how to filter data by ID when using the fetch all function in SQLite. This knowledge will empower you to retrieve specific records from your database based on their unique identifiers. Remember, you can customize the code to suit your specific filtering conditions and retrieve the data you need. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it informative and valuable. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Until next time, happy coding.